Ladies and gentlemen, we are right now, what, 48 hours away from the NFL draft. And the nice thing is 47 hours and 45 minutes. Um, can you mute him? <laughs> was, that, was that needed during the intro of a video? All right, Dre has been muted. You guys all have a shot clock, so we'll see how well the muting goes. Um, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Thoughts on the Bench. With me is, uh, as traditionally always, Greg Mallet, co-host of Two Beers Deep. Greg, how are you? I am doing lovely, good sir. And look, two hands. Using wow. All people. It's Come amazing. Here. Laptop or other. Uh, with us is the Rank King, Austin. How are you? Good, good. Are Enjoying those all... The, uh, oh, go ahead, sir. Enjoying all the... Uh, News of people losing their stuff over this Gronk thing, man. It's too funny. Yeah, I was going to ask, what jerseys do you have hanging behind you since Dre has his fake Big Ben? Uh, we'll talk later on that. Okay, it's the fraternity <laughs> the fraternity jersey. Uh, Dre, speaking of fake jerseys, what's up? How's it going, fellas? Glad to be back here. I'm excited as hell, obviously. Got Big Ben hanging over here. Why Drew Brees? Why not Drew Brees? Okay, and with us <laughs> as well is the uh, – I'm going to put an asterisk next to it, but the 2019 Thoughts on the Bench Fantasy Football Champion, uh, Smalls. What's up, brother? What's going on? Um, I had to make myself a uh, certificate because I didn't I get like a shit it. for actually winning it. So, um, yeah, it's great to be here, boys. Glad to be back. There wasn't room for the budget. Oh, what a douche. Now I know why we didn't send you anything. I hate this kid so much. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, uh, let's just fire off some questions here for about 10 minutes, and then we'll spend the last 20 minutes of the video doing our mocky, mocky, mock, mock. Um, first, I want to start with you, Smalls. Is this one of the most, like, the least exciting drafts from a Penn State fan's perspective with only two guys considered really day one and two? Uh, yeah, but, I mean, as a football fan, I'm so pretty excited. Um I mean, you got, what, K.J. Hamler and uh, Yeeter. So, those guys probably won't go to second round at best. And, I mean, Yeeter might sneak into the first. I've seen a few mocks of him sneaking in. But, like, I mean, I think they're both going to land, you know, pretty well wherever they're at. So, I mean, I'm yeah. not – I haven't really uh, put too much stock into Penn State guys getting picked. So, there are a few other guys that, if they're lucky, might – sneak in round seven or something but like yeah, yeah. Like said, I can't really see many guys get you know getting a lot of spotlight so man which is fair man what, what's up Dre good what uh, what, what do you want quick question swear to god what? only take three seconds how do you pronounce his name Yator made post gross no Yeter gross matos Yeter gross matos okay you Yeter. pronounced it Arguably the weirdest way I've ever heard anything pronounced. <laughs> you did Matos the name gross. backwards. <laughs> yeah, you did read either gr Matos Gross. I did do it backwards. I just had to throw it out there. I didn't have I the like name it. in front of me. So, <clears throat> I, I needed to know. Makes me a little worried for your abilities to do this mock tier later on this evening. <laughs> but I swear this is the only name that threw me off ever. Uh, Dre, I want to switch over to you. Who is your Cortland Sutton of this draft? There's always one wide receiver that isn't the top guy that you fall in love with. I can't lie. I don't have one because I I love everyone in this class. No, you Honestly. love CD Lamb. I'm not I'm a bigger Judy guy than CD. He's number one on my wow. he's number one on my board. I think Judy's electric. I think Judy's the best route runner. I think he's the most complete. I think CD has great upside and it's one A, one B. But like if we're gonna name <clears> off some guys <throat> that I like, I like Michael Pittman, who's not getting enough attention. Uh, a guy I really like who didn't perform well in the combine, Antonio Ganey Golden, you know, 6'5", but he's a guy that's kind of fallen off. So I guess if anybody's my son, it'd be him. But I believe, I legitimately believe in like, there's going to be at least six to ten players <laughs> in this draft. I, I, I would, I would, people. I would like to point out that me and Dre were right about uh, DK Metcalf last year. I just wanted to point that out. I so would say the jury's were. still out, but he had a good rookie year. Mm, okay. <laughs> I mean, he was very freaking solid. Hey, he was good in the playoffs. He was good leading up to there, too. He just had a – he was a late bloomer. He just he didn't okay. get the cachet that A.J. Brown did because, obviously, he was eating. Thousand-yard season rookie year. Yeah. Can't go. You know, hey, every Batman needs a Robin there. Um, 
and that's just, you know, how I see it for you, Dre. I do love it. But Austin, give me a small – do you have any small school guys you like in this draft, just out of curiosity? Not really, honestly. Because we get into the two guys from Rhode Island. Uh, Greg, what are their names? Uh, I don't have them off the top of my head, man. <laughs> it's like Aaron Paul and Ralph Nader or something like that. Yeah, Ralph not... Nader. <laughs> um, uh, are there any late round guys, Austin? Who's your favorite your little favorite sleeper little here? Sleeper. Uh, well, I actually had uh, Matos, I think, in my latest one going to, um, I want to say Seattle. Uh, because of the mm-hmm. whole clowny situation, they're not sure how that's going to play out. Um, originally, I think I had him going to the Titans, but I ended up switching him for Josh Jones. Josh Jones came in later. And be careful, be I do careful. hear a little echo there from some people. Uh, Greg, it was Aaron Parker and Parker Isaiah Coulter. Col- yeah, I got the Isaiah Coulter. I didn't remember the other one. Yeah, which is fair. Um, so another thing, Smalls, we really didn't see too much of your mock i think everyone else in here did their latest version of a mock of some kind um where do you have two of falling um so <clears throat> i was thinking about this a lot uh before i got on actually because i still haven't done a mock and i think it it might just be because of this whole covid19 thing i haven't really gotten as into the draft this year because there hasn't really been as much of a you know build up to it but thinking about it um I kind of like him going to the Dolphins still. Yeah. Um, just because I think Chargers, I think, are going Herbert. Um, so, and I, I just have a feeling that, like, I don't know, it, the whole tank for Tua thing, didn't, they didn't really tank, but I still feel like still they had them. it in their mind for a year now to still go for this kid. I still think he's, like, kind of a question mark. Um, for some reason, left-hand quarterbacks never work out in the NFL unless your name is Michael Vick. Um, so I, Jeez. I don't know. I don't know. So I, I do think the Dolphins are going to take a chance on him because, I mean, why the hell not? I mean, who else, are, who yeah. else do they it's, have under center? It's always between those two when it comes to talking about the Dolphins and the Chargers, <clears throat> Tua and Herbert. Yeah. A lot of people recently came out and said they prefer Herbert to the Dolphins, but honestly, to me, Herbert's like the guy that could play and start right now. In and I think he could possibly do that in Chargers. I mean, you look at that. I don't want to compare the two, but like a Tyrod Baker scenario that happened in Cleveland. You know, he doesn't play well. You put Herbert you in. You want to do it with the same exact thing with Tyrod? Well, I mean, it's just- <laughs> <laughs> Tyrod, man, get in the shaft. Yeah. Um, I heard a quote today, Austin, that reminds me of what you said. It was that every draft has a Justin Herbert. Where, like, it's a guy that you can play that has some upside, but he's not, like, the sexy pick. Yeah. <clears throat> Which I thought was interesting. Um, Greg, where do you want to draft, my friend? I will let you choose between the one and five position. So the way it's going to work, guys, here is it's just going to go one through five, and then whoever had the one gets the sixth pick, and then so on. So um, what is it? I think four guys will get – Seven picks? What is it? What's it'd be? It'd be four guys get eight and one guy gets seven. Bunch okay. of math majors in here, huh? <laughs> gang, gang, what it do? Malik, where are you picking? Uh, I want the Dolphins pick, so give me five. All right. What's Smalls, Smalls, where are you picking? Seven. <clears throat> um, give me a, give me three. Austin, where are you picking? Uh, give me four. <coughs> Dre. I'll take one. All right. That means I am second. So what we're doing here, guys, we're doing a first round mock draft. This will be put up on YouTube and Facebook. I am now <coughs> setting the um forty second. We'll do forty seconds unless we feel like we don't need it. But uh Dre. Uh, I'm on the clock. Has the clock, the clock started? The clock right. has officially started. Ding, ding, man. I must say, this is obvious you're going Joe Burrow, but I just want to kind of throw this out there. Uh, one thing Smalls touched on, it really sucks. Two things. Number one, COVID-19 build-up situation. He didn't really have a chance to build up this pick. But number two, more so, which caused this pick to lose less steam, was the Tua injury. I just wish that Tua was healthy so we could have a legitimate conversation whether it's yeah. going to be Burrow 
that work. would be an amazing uh, conversation. So, uh, but you obviously are going Burrow. Uh, <clears throat> so that's that's my pick as a Steelers fan. Cool and Ooh. clock, love it. Great pick. Uh, number two overall. I don't even need to start the clock because I will go with the best player in this draft, which is one Chase Young of Ohio State to the Redskins. Put him next to Montez Sweat and call it a freaking day. That does mean though, Smalls is up for the Detroit Lions. Um, I'm going to go Jeff Okuda. I think this one's a pretty obvious pick. Darius Slay going to the Eagles. So I definitely think that Okuda is the mo- probably one of the most complete players in this draft, maybe outside of Chase Young. Yeah. And the most consistent player in the draft, I think. And I, Detroit just need – they need help, man. And they, yeah. I, I don't see them going any other direction. So I'm going Jeff Okuda. I think Okuda gets a lot of like flack because, like, well, a cornerback's not going to win you a game, <clears throat> but he's so good, dude. He's so good. He, he's he can he can steal you a game. I, I think he he's just so shut down. It's not even funny. Just agree, man. Consistent across the board. So, more head ranking. You're on the clock. All right. Um. So there are rumors that you know Gettleman's looking to trade down for. I guess this pick, yeah, I don't know trading if it's me in that, but but there is no trading. I get that. If it was me, I'm t- I'm trying to think of like the more like obvious <clears throat> one. I don't think that Gettleman's gonna do anything to protect that O line, and I hate it. Ten um, seconds. I think he's gonna take Isaiah Simmons. Ooh, wow. Yeah, I like it. I, I don't it. hate it. He was there in my first mock. Yeah. I'm I'm thinking of it more now, and he he's quoted as saying he likes big <clears throat> playmaking men. Yep. And I don't see that an offensive lineman is going to fall into that category for him. And with hey, Mickey Simmons, Beckton might. Who knows? But yeah, <laughs> Isaiah Simmons. <laughs> All right, Greg, you're up for the Dolphins, my friend. We spent the whole year tanking for this guy, and I think he is the most. Talented quarterback, yeah, <laughs> and he and he. I think he's the most talented quarterback in this entire class. T- give me to a tug of Iola. Boom, Dre. You're up for the Chargers. I am up for the Chargers, and uh, <laughs> you made me second guess if I was correct <laughs> or not. No, I uh, I definitely didn't think I was up right now. I was, I was expecting the next pick, but anyways i just i can't count i can't count but who i can count on is this guy to leave my franchise for the next jeez this guy and the justin herbert oh this we, guy we we need we're moving to the new stadium we got new jerseys we moved on from philip rivers new era making a california california boy and justin herbert Crazy. Well, play right away those new jerseys are beautiful i will say yeah. oh they're unbelievable. Love the numbers on the helmets it's them it's sort of the lt years i love it the gold pants with the white jerseys. Oh, oh, the oh. lightning, too. They are clean. The cleanest jerseys in the game. All right. I'm up for the Panthers. Uh, I am not shying away from the most popular pick in the draft with Derek Brown, safest player in the draft. Can't even hate it. Um, Smalls, Carolina, or, uh, Cardinals, excuse me. You're on the clock. I think I'm going Tristan Wirfs. Just I mean, I think you could probably throw up either Jarek Wills. J- sorry. Ginger Wills or Tristan Wirfs. Um, I don't really think you go wrong either way here. You need to protect. Uh, need to protect your number one pick. So I'm definitely going Tristan Wirfs here. Pretty easy. I agree. Rank King, you are the Jaguars, I believe. Yes, yes sir. So team that probably needs the most help next to the Panthers, and <laughs> the only way I can see them doing that is taking the best available player defensively on the board. So I'm going Javon Kinlaw. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like Kinlaw, man. He's such a good story. Greg, what's up in Cleveland? Uh, We just signed a young left tackle in Jack Conklin for three years, and uh, we're going to get some – still available. Mm Mm-hmm. And right now, we're going to get uh, a right tackle who will eventually transition into the left spot in a couple of years with the most potential, even though he was flagged a little earlier this year. He still has the best potential. Give me Mekhi Becton. Wow. Does it bother you that he cooks? None whatsoever. 
Not me. That's my guy. Yeah, really. I was gonna say that's Dre's guy. But remember, this is the thing back in the day where Eli Apple got flagged because his mom cooked for him. So there's always a yeah. weird one, man. Yep. Big boys love to eat, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, but that big boy can move. Yeah. What was the original thing that we were thought he just ate too much food? When yeah, he, he ate too. They liked food too much. I was like, he, so you're telling me this guy's been told his whole life to eat more, eat more, eat more, eat more, and now it's okay. Yeah. Uh, I have to eat less after four eight forty. Dre baby, New York Jets are on the clock. Ah, uh, and believe me when I say, as a Jets fan, as as a Jets GM, and I was going to say, when did you become a Jets fan? <laughs> I really want to take Jerry Judy, but I can't because I wow. have to protect my quarterback at all costs. This receiver draft is deep. Jets fans, I advise you wait a pick and wait till a second, and you take your tackle. You take Jedrick Willis, and you protect Sam Darnold. You could Jedrick not do Willis. it all year last year. We got to protect Sam. He's the franchise. Interesting. Jedrick, Real quick, I want to. I want to point out this was an exact argument that you argued against in our last mock draft when you mocked me for taking when I wow. mocked you for taking a receiver here. Yep. Did Great you finally yourself. realize the error of your ways? Things changed, Morehead, and the one thing that changed <laughs> The same reason had, that he was I've such a, a C.D. Lamb guy think. before. No, he was such a C.D. Lamb over Judy guy, and now no, magically. No, I was never a C.D. Lamb over Judy guy. Oh, I'm going to pull never. receipts. I'm but I was, receipts. I was at that point. I was a take a receiver now, but after the way the board falls, you, you got to protect so much them. After evaluating this, after having time to think in isolation, no. you got to huh? go with the tackle and protect it. Sounds like uh, Dre just has zero conviction over here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> at least, at least you understood that it was the wrong decision for your first move. So. That was that was months ago. Okay. We're we're, 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 down, we're down to the nitty gritty. That was okay. A the three. Las Vegas Raiders are on the clock. I, unlike Dre, will not botch this pick, and I will take the best receiver in this class in one Jared, Jerry, Judy, Judith, Jerry, Judy. Sign it up. Yep. <laughs> um, amazing. Smalls, you are the 49ers first selection. So right, this one taking is KJ Hamler. <laughs> yeah. The human joystick, eh? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I do think I'm gonna go uh I think this pick and the last pick are kind of in, interchangeable. I think I'm gonna go with Jerry Judy. Um I do think that Justin Jefferson might sneak up higher than people think. Who'd you um, take? I took uh, C.D. Lamb. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I took C.D. Lamb. My bad. I was um, like, yo, did I not take Jerry Jude? <laughs> it's That's on fantasy leagues. That's a shot. Yeah. You're good. Yeah, yeah. Shout out fantasy. That was crazy. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Keep going through your analysis. Uh, <laughs> No, I, I thought about putting Justin Jefferson here, um, but overall, C.D. Lamb is definitely the better receiver, so I'm going to go C.D. Lamb. Agreed there. Austin, you just got a shiny new toy in Rob Gronkowski. Yep. And you have the pick up for the Bucks. I am. Um, we got enough weapons on offense now. Our defense is looking strong. The one thing we need to do is add to that offensive line and protect that old man Brady. Give me Andrew Thomas. I like that a lot. Yeah. That's a good pick. Yeah, I thought for just, a second you were going to go defensive side. No, you just – I mean, I had Kinlaw here originally in my earlier mocks, but if him falling up to Jacksonville, Brady can win you games, but he's not going to win you shootouts. So best thing to do here for that, protect, protect. Brady so he doesn't, like, have to, like, throw as aggressively as much. So. Do you trust that defense that – you trust the pass rusher to cross from Shaq oh, yeah. Barrett? Oh, yeah. JPP, All day. Vita Vea, and Dominican Sue's still there. Yep. <clears throat> I do. Uh, and oh, they hey. probably have the two best middle linebackers. All right, Greg, you are up for the Denver Broncos. Give us your best John Elway impersonation. Ooh. Quarterback. I don't, I don't want to play in Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the coach. My dad handles everything for me. I play for the Yankees. He's got mm -hmm. big-ass teeth. <laughs> All right, you're up, Greg. Give me, give me a shiny new toy for Drew Locke to throw to and to pair with Deshaun Hamilton and Cortland Sutton and the guy that I think in five years is going to end up being the best receiver in this class. You're crazy. Henry Ruggs the third. You're crazy. When he's a bust, oh, come crazy. back to me, even though I don't think he's going to be a bust. 
<laughs> um, Dre. There's, there's no way he's the best receiver in his class. In five years, Dre. I'm not saying right now. Dre, you changed your entire pick in what, oh, two weeks? It five was, years is a lot longer. It was, for definitely, you it was definitely a month ago. Okay, okay. We weren't even isolated yet. Well, you got 10 seconds left for the Falcons. <laughs> Oh, no, I've, just had this pencil, I've had this penciled in since that time. A.J. Espineza. Espineza. Really? Yeah. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, wow. Going there. Oh, why oh, why him take for the we need to get pressure. We need to get pressure on the quarterback. We can't. So why not? Corner. No pass rusher. Why not Clavon Chason? Yeah, <laughs> that'd be way better. Because I'm looking at my mock and I forgot he wasn't there. I'd rather have him, but I clearly just messed that up. Well, you I took AJ and Vanessa, who has arguably been the largest him or Grant him Delpit <laughs> fallers in this entire <laughs> drafting process. Interesting. I am the Cowboys, and I cannot believe that my guy fell to me, CJ Henderson. Yeah. I love him out of Florida, and I think there are some issues there, but wow, I just signed a boss cornerback. For sure. Smalls, the Dolphins have already selected to a tag of Iowa. Who are they taking now? This one is kind of tough. Everyone's saying Xavier McKinney is going to go before Grant Delpit. I have a feeling it might go the other way. Go Delpit over McKinney. Ooh. I don't know why. He feels just, he feels like a dolphin. It's just it, it's just intuition, man. You yeah. know? Just, I know why. Go ahead. He was a top five, he was a top five pick coming into this season, and he just kind of fell. And I mean he didn't produce, but he lost he didn't lose his athleticism. You know, he's still there athletically. Fair. It's yeah. just kind of took a back seat. So I mean, bless you. Excuse me. Way Thank to see that's a steal. Um, we move on, Austin. The Raiders already have a shiny new toy in Jerry Judy. Who do they get now? Uh, they got another shiny new toy on the defensive side of the ball, and it is arguably against every fiber of my being that I have to not pick the one guy I want here. <clears throat> okay. I'm going Christian Fulton. Oh. Okay. Yep. Raiders need secondary help. Put him in. Instant starter. I don't hate that at all. Greg, the Jaguars already have Javon Kinlaw, defensive tackle. Yeah, there, there's a number of different routes I can go to. I mean, if I'm the Jaguars, I'm literally just stockpiling as much talent as I want. And thinking I could use – Just I a can, warning, Greg, I think you froze. Did, I, did he freeze for anyone else or am I crazy? Yeah. He froze for me too. It looks um, – oh, there it goes. It fixed there it. Goes. Yeah. It had you just like this. <laughs> And you were talking over it, and it was amazing. All right, you're up for the Jaguars. I want to – I'm just going to add some more talent to the defense in the long run because I feel like they need some assistance in that front seven to go with Miles Jack. Give me Patrick Queen. Ooh. I don't hate that. I Over Kenneth name Murray? It. What? Over Kenneth Murray? Yeah, I look at Kenneth Murray. I think he's going to take a little longer to kind of develop into the game right now. I think Patrick Queen has a little bit more of a stable type of game to be able to adjust in the NFL right now as opposed to Kenneth Murray. I think Murray will be better as a developmental at prospect for a guy, for a team that's going to go to the playoffs eventually. But for the Jags, they're just stockpiling talent. I think Queen gives them some really good potential moving forward. Cool yes, question. Moorhead. Um, why not corner here? Because you guys have been looking to replace that Ramsey position. Because we, it's a deep, because we have a lot of picks in this class. We're probably going to get some more picks for Fournette or even Ngakwe at some point. And I think that there's some corners we can get in the second round, like Trayvon Diggs or some other okay. positions if we want. Yep. All yeah, right. I don't hate it. I mean, the Jaguars need a lot. So just talent at this point. Uh, right. The Philadelphia Eagles have turned their pick in. They will take. Justin Jefferson, LSU. Um, I don't believe that he is the next best receiver, but I do believe that he is the best receiver for the Eagles if Henry Ruggs is not there. So that is why. Smalls, the Vikings are on the clock. Wait. Did I, get yeah, I was going to say, you... I think Dre got skipped. I definitely got skipped. <laughs> for what? The Bills. Oh, no, no. You're the Eagles, huh? Yeah. 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 
and I don't want them. So hold on. <laughs> Shut up, Dre. Hold on. Greg, say yes. one thing. Just say one thing. <clears throat> thing. All right, Dre, you're on the clock for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, for the Eagles, it is extremely tough to really take a look at this team and not see that they need help in two areas, receiver being one. Uh, but I think injuries kind of help solve that. Their defensive backfield was putrid last year, and that needs a lot more help. Uh, we just lost our leader in the defensive backfield on Malcolm Jenkins, so we're going to replace him with Xavier. Mm. Okay. Who did you say? Xavier <laughs> McKinney. Okay. All I heard was mini. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, somebody please. Okay, Xavier McKinney, I do like that. It's not as yeah. good as the pick that I had originally picked when I messed up, but was cut out of the video. So you're only getting this part. You're not getting the actual part. But that leads me to my selection Yes. for the Purple People Eaters. And it does lead me to select the person that I wanted for the Eagles and he wasn't there. So give me Justin Jefferson, LSU. For which team? The Vikings. I believe the Bills are actually on the clock. No, they traded the pick. Is this a joke to you? Oh, they did trade the pick. Is this a God joke to you? <laughs> this guy's an so employee, but I'm not. <laughs> Oh, oh, Stephon God. Diggs. Oh God! <laughs> I'm See, just making sure everyone's you know up to date. I um, can't. Uh, clearly, I'm not. Thanks, Dre. <laughs> My mock is a mess. Did you guys know that the Bills are on the clock? Yeah. Dre, I have ne Dre, I've never driven him to drink. So bravo on your part for being <sighs> able to do it. Well, it's like Dre. So can. in the in the mess up part which i might not even cut at this point because this is off the rails but in the mess up part i said vikings and you said it's the bells before you even knew i had messed up and skipped you your only concern was that it was the bills pick which they traded away <laughs> for stefan weeks ago <laughs> weeks ago uh my mom my old mock that i'm going off of i had i had the colts still having their pick this is how this is how bad that i've been in terms of my he mock. has he has the Steelers still picking. No, I'm not that <laughs> <laughs> That's not too far. All right, Smalls, you get the New England Patriots. This this is a tough one. Um, I feel like Bill Belichick knows way more than me, so I don't know nope. what he's actually going to do. Nope. Um, no. You know more than anybody. I trust I you. I I don't think so. Um, <laughs> Uh, I think I'm going to go Kenneth Murray just to plug in uh, for Kyle Van Noy. Um, mm. Thought oh, about going on. with uh, Zach Bond, but I'm gonna think I'm going to go Kenneth Murray on this one. I Bill like that. Bill Belichick is way smarter than me, though, and will choose someone different. So Yeah, he'll choose that small school guy. Uh, Greg Austin. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Austin, you're up for the Saints. Yep. Uh you can get my quarterback of the future, boys. If anybody believes that Taysom Hill is going to be a franchise quarterback after Drew Brees, they're an idiot. So give me <laughs> Greg, Greg just said on last night's Two Beers Deep that Taysom Hill will be their quarterback because the team is going to will it into existence. Oh, they, they will. So they're, Greg is an idiot going if you guys to, didn't know. I don't know. hate that take. I don't no, know. They, they are, they're going to, man. Like, no Greg matter, is a big idiot. <laughs> no, no matter how much we don't want Taysom Hill to be the starting quarterback, they are going to just, like, push it into our subconscious. Do you until... feel bad, Austin? No, because I'm bad? still taking Jordan Love. <laughs> I would it's like everyone to know that was also Austin's pick in the Thoughts on the Bench Madden quarantine draft. Yep. Uh, so, you know, I told him to take Lost my first game today. I'm not happy about it. Yeah, you got molly -whapped. Gregory, yeah. the Vikings have their wide receiver. Who are they going with now? I'm going to add some help with their secondary, and I'm going to stay a little bit of a local product from the University of Minnesota. Give me Antoine Winfield Jr. Oh, wow. Okay. You're a big fan of the hype of players, huh? No, but I, I like Winfield, man. Like I, I thought, I thought the Steelers would be able to get him in the second round, perhaps. But he's been shooting up boards lately. So I, I and watch the athleticism on tape that he has. He's good. 
Uh, Dre Bebe, the Dolphins have Tua Tagovailoa and Grant Delpit already. <clears throat> Excuse me. So they they need they still need some things in terms of uh, their offensive line and defensive line. They need a lot. Uh, you know, and everyone right here has running back and DeAndre Swift. And I believe that's who I'm actually going to take right here. I understand they need some things, but they have picks coming literally right after this where DeAndre Swift is the number one on the board, whereas the drop-off right now of tackle, you can interchange three or four guys there in Austin Jackson yeah. or Josh Jones and be completely okay with that. But you're not going to find a more talented running back right now if Swift doesn't get past uh, doesn't get past the uh, Chiefs, so why risk it? Take them now and worry about tackle with them. Yeah, I like that a lot. <clears throat> I had to redeem myself. Do we all think that DeAndre Swift will be the first running back off the board? I think so. I, I think too. there's going to be some late steam with Jonathan Taylor just because I think he's the most complete, but I think yeah. Swift will probably be the first one off the board, yeah. yeah. Small shout. Watch out for uh, J.K. Dobbins, though. Yeah, I think J.K. Dobbins yeah. might sneak up. I've been hearing higher than people yeah, actually yeah. think. Yeah, so. that's a good point. Swift Could fits happen. that Miami run style more. They're they're not looking for like a heavy built back, and if they did, they already like got Jordan Howard. So get the speedy guy to complement Howard. Yeah. Whereas like Taylor's more of like the run power, like run you over type of deal. I, I would argue Jonathan Taylor is more all purpose. But he's trying to prove now, especially that he can pass protect and also catch passes out of the backfield too. I, I think in terms of the entire skill set, I think Taylor's the more complete out of all the three, in my opinion. We are up now on the clock, the Seattle Seahawks, uh, with myself. And I really I was really hoping that one of the safeties out of those three would fall because their secondary needs some because there's no cornerbacks here that I like left in the first, so let's go in. I don't believe that they bring back one Jadavion Clowney, so give me the athlete in uh, Kalevon Chason at defensive end. Which then leads us to Smalls. You are the Baltimore Ravens. I think I'm going Zach Bond here. I think they need some help at linebacker. Yeah. Um, love it. I love him. Uh, yeah, he's just he's he's really good at you know covering the short routes. Um and I think that's something that they were kind of missing. So I'm gonna go to Zach Bond there from uh Wisconsin. Austin, Tennessee Titans are on the clock. Yep. Um so we just paid Ryan Tannehill a ridiculous load of money. And the only thing that I can think of that we would need to do, especially with protecting the uh run scheme of Derrick Henry, we gotta get an offensive tackle. There's two names in my mind, but I'm going with uh, Josh Jones here. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. A, a lot of these guards and tackles are going to be kind of like, uh, you know, just kind of where they fall because I think a lot of teams are going to trade back and get their guards. But yeah. uh, I agree there. Um, which leads us to Greg. You are the Green Bay Packers. Take them back to the Holy Land. Aaron Rodgers desperately wants more receivers that can actually catch the ball and be a good running mate for Devontae Adams. Don't do uh, it's very tough for me to try to figure out which receiver they go in particular. So I am going to lean towards T Higgins from Clemson. Ooh. I like that. Yeah. I do like that pairing with uh, Devonte a lot. I was thinking about, I was thinking about a surprise pick here, maybe Jalen Rigor, but I, I kind of am yep. leaning a little bit more towards Higgins with this one right now. I like Higgins. I like Higgins because he can offer you both intermediate and deep threat combination. Whereas I don't know if Rigor is going to be good in the intermediate part of it and going across the middle. Now, if he's going to burn, he's going to burn someone in the streak, no doubt about it. Yeah. And they need someone who can stretch the field. But uh, I like the combo that they have there because so, it allows them to use Devontae in more versatile ways out of the slot as well. So uh, I, I definitely like this pick. I love that fit for him too, Greg. Which then leads us to Dre. 49ers are on the clock. Well, this is our last pick. Ideally, if I were them, I would look to trade back to try and get more, but we're not going to do that here. Uh, I look at this roster, and they don't need much, if anything at all. Yeah. Uh, I am, though, wary of one position, and that's cornerback, uh, just because uh, I think Richard Sherman, him being an all-pro, I don't know if he can repeat that performance, but 
you know at some point it's going to end. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going with cornerback Jeff Gladney here. I like Ooh. Gladney's versatility. Get I out. like him playing in the slot, and I like his ability to be able to move on the outside whenever that spot opens up. So I'm going to go with uh, Jeff Gladney. Do not hate it, but not who I thought you were going with. What's up, Greg? Would you have considered going offensive tackle here? Because odds are Joe Staley is very close to retirement. You're thinking about maybe moving McGlinchey to left tackle, and you got a wide open spot at right tackle. Tackles, again, it's a position that uh, you said you definitely need. Uh, now, if I do end up moving back, I would be, you know, my aim is to go back and aim for a tackle because I think I can get one deeper. But at the same time, you know, uh, we're built around defense and the way our offense is uh, in terms of the zone running scheme and everything that we do, I think that we are able to find a tackle that does exactly what you need them to do in order to, you know, protect and then also free up the holes. I mean, it's not my immediate need is basically what I'm trying to say. I like the need of having a corner. This is a passing league. Uh, we just got DeAndre Hopkins in the division now and, you know, the Rams are transitioning to full, full-blown passing. So give me more corners. Don't hate it, my man. I <clears throat> was really hoping that Swift would fall because I am the Super Bowl winning Chiefs. And although I also believe they trade back and someone trades up uh, for like an Eason here, um, there's not much they need. And I like cornerback for them. Um, so I'm going to go just to get them into – the meh. now I don't want to take him. I want a <laughs> running back. I want DeAndre Swift because I love Jonathan Taylor, but I don't think he fits there. So I'm going with Trevon Diggs, cornerback, Alabama. Stephon Diggs, cousin or brother, which I found out today. If anyone didn't know that, oh really? Yeah, I didn't realize that until I was watching NFL Live yesterday, and they said it was his little brother. It's like, huh? Well, that's why I never put him. Uh, digs in the conversation with being taken by the Vikings because I think that would be awkward as hell. <laughs> He's automatically off their board. They're like, no, 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 we're good, we're good. Um, let's do one more, bef- one more thing before we shut it down. I want you guys to say, out of this class of special guys, who do you believe is going to have the most fantasy football points out of any skill position player in this draft? So not quarterback, because in my opinion it's going to be joe burrow you know what i mean like there aren't many other quarterbacks going to a situation where they need to play now uh out of the skill position guys <clears throat> so we got john swift john stewart zach moss jk dobbins cam Akers, albert o cool commit list goes on forever who is going to be the most fantasy relevant player by the end of the year we'll start we with you and dre okay sorry oh no uh, sorry, austin, since you have it austin go ahead my bad well no i was saying are we going in order of how we drafted for this or we that's just, what i was yeah i was gonna yeah, do dre then me then smalls austin then greg to yeah close that's it what out. i just that's fine beautiful going first yes sir and you cannot cool. choose what someone else chooses let's make it difficult i, I uh me Greg's going scoring. first i'm gonna go with my favorite my number one position player on in this draft and that's jerry judy uh i think jerry judy's the most complete receiver that we've seen in a long time and we talk about how deep this class is but he's just that good he's getting up top this deep class He's leading it, so got to tell you how special he is right there. You saw he did Alabama. I'm ready to see wherever he goes. He's just going to plug and play, and boom, he's going to take you to places that you never even expected. He will be your flex. He will be in your flex or wide receiver spot, wide receiver two spot for a while this year. All right. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit of a different route here. I'm going to go with the running back that I believe will end up in the best situation, which is my guy, Jonathan. My guy, Jonathan Taylor. I uh, I think he's the best runner in this class. He might not be able to catch better than Swift, but he will fall into the second round, meaning that he'll get into that uh, echelon of teams such as the Colts mm, that really need a running back uh, that can do three down. So uh, Smalls, Jerry Judy, and Jonathan Taylor are off the board. So this one I think could be interesting. You've heard a lot of recent buzz about Michael Pittman Jr. I think he might be a guy that comes out of nowhere and just is a monster in fantasy. Monster. I like it. There's two guys I like in this draft that are late like him, and it's him and it's Van Jefferson out of Florida that I think are really going to land on a team and have like wide receiver two jobs right away. 
So, like, it, it, the homer in me wanted to go with KJ Hamler, but I, <laughs> I, I just pushed it up. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I wanted no, to do I think... Cam Akers, so don't feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it. Uh, Austin, you're up. Yeah, uh, again, weird pick I'm going to go with here. I trust, if fantasy has told me anything from the guys I've picked in the slot, that slot receivers do very well. Uh, at least the ones that I pick, anyway, Cole Beasley. Um, so I am going to say – If I like them, they do great. It's not yeah, great. yeah, why not? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Justin Jefferson here. Damn, I think this is why gonna... I love this exercise because Greg is just squirming. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he has, he has the oh number two easily and the number one running back. So number two wide receiver, number one running back, all the tight end, everyone else in this class, Greg. He has still. everyone else. <laughs> Except those two, four guys. Because the two guys that I figure would be the easiest ones to actually be fantasy relevant get taken. Like, yep. John, like Jonathan Taylor, regardless of the situation that he's going to go to, I feel like he's going to get touches no matter Love what. You. And Justin Jefferson is a slot guy. So it's not like any of the other boundary Love receivers you. that they're going to have to, like, try <laughs> to go for yak in order to get you yardage and stuff. Like, Justin Jefferson is going to, like, just rack up catches like Jarvis Landry at some point. So, so who are you picking, Greg? <laughs> Put a gun to my head. I'm going to say the guy that I said was going to be the best receiver in five years from this class. I'm going to go with Henry Ruggs in the third. Man, I love that. I'm keeping that on record just to brag at the end of the year when I win. Um, Gentlemen, so we do have, and you are all obviously invited into the wonderful world of live action sports. Uh, We will have live draft coverage Thursday during the draft. I'm going to pick up, which I talked to Gil. He might grab me beer, so thank his soul. I will have beer and pizza. Josh is setting up our show. We'll be able to break down some analysis of some guys and picks, mainly because, you know, it's not like there's much else on TV to watch right now. But, gentlemen, that is the end of our video. We did very well on time. Congratulations to everybody. Uh, Any last thoughts you want to get off your chest, guys? Dre, real quick. Where do you think your boy uh, Cam Akers is going? Uh, I'll say third round. Uh, really? Just be, yeah, I just think I think that he's a I think he's a back that a lot of people are sleeping on right now, mm-hmm. and I think that there's other guys that might end up leapfrogging him. But uh, as far as team, I don't know. But I'll give you the round. I'll say three, early third, late second, but third is where I believe. I like it. Tanner. <clears throat> Which team is more likely? I know you picked him for Miami, but is Tua more likely to go to Miami or Los Angeles? Uh, Who's that for? Oh. The Rams. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, That's... I want to say I want to say Miami. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I feel like Justin Herbert. I, I don't know who's actually going to be better in the NFL, but um, I feel like Justin Herbert, it kind of has a stigma about him where it's it's boomer bust. He's a high ceiling, but man, he could be a miss. I could be the complete, it could be the complete opposite in my opinion. I think Tua could be a complete bust. Yep. But I think that's kind of how Herbert's uh, perceived. And I mean, LA is not going to mind that anyway, because I think they want him anyway. So. It's it's real tough of all the stuff I'm hearing because it's like right now, it's fifty five percent Miami and like forty five percent Los Angeles for me. Yeah. So. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, for all we know, though, they could go with another position. Yep. Like, who the hell knows? That hey, they really believe in Tyrod Taylor. Really yeah. believe in Tyrod. <laughs> That's my guy. Don't shit on him. Okay. That's one rule we have here is you can't shit on Tyrod. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for viewing, guys. I will see you all Thursday. Congratulations on making it through another mock draft, except for Dre, who not only <laughs> really messed up the work. Bills and Vikings, but took AJ Epinesa to the Falcons, which is just a lovely pick. Uh, guys, thank you all for being on. We'll catch you guys later. Yep. See you guys. Yep. Bye. Peace.